Okay, so anyway, now long tangent of uh, of discussing everything you could ever want to know about solar lint to go. But why do we recut it? Well, this is why. What is going on here? Lentigo still, right? We can see not as pretty as the other, but longer reedy with increased basal layer melanin pigment in the keratinocytes. But what are these? And more importantly, why are these? This is kind of esoteric. Here's a closer view. Anyone want to take a stab at what those are? Dead keratinocytes. Dead keratinocytes. Apoptotic keratinocytes, or some people say necrotic keratinocytes, or dyskeratosis, dyskeratotic cells. We use all sorts of different names. But usually when we see apoptotic dying keratinocytes in the epidermis, we think of it as a thing that goes with interface dermatitis, right? Like lupus or a lichenoid variant of interface, like, you know, lichen planus, in which case they're at the junction, the basal layer. But here they're like floating along in the mid layer of the, the spinous layer. And they're actually all throughout. There's more of them over here. There's like little clusters of them, and they're all throughout the specimen. So I had a hunch when I saw this case a while ago, and I thought, I think I know. I remember this case really well because it was the first time I ever got to confirm this. I was like, I think that I know why those are there. I think this patient might have an acute sunburn in addition to their chronic sun damage and solar lentigo. And thankfully, there was a clinical photo of this lesion and the skin, the entire skin of the patient's back was bright red, really bad, recent sunburn. And so yes, they had chronic sun damage with the lentigo, but in addition, they had a recent sunburn, which was clearly visible on the clinical photo. And it was so great to have a confirmation. So these are what's been called sunburn cells. So when you get an acute sunburn, if you're wondering what sunburn looks like under the microscope, there it is. Parts of the epidermis get damaged so much that they die. And of course, that will eventually repair itself. The keratinocytes will, but the DNA, potential DNA damage, you know, um, has already been done and may or may not repair itself. So uh, if you're watching this online and, and curious, if you're not a non-medical person curious about sunburns, that's what sunburn looks like. But um, in, even though that stuff will go away and get fixed, some of the cells may have had their DNA damage, which can lead to the production of precancerous lesions like actinic keratosis or even uh, uh, squamous cell carcinomas, basal cell carcinoma, melanoma, other types of cancers later. So this is why we try to avoid excess sun exposure, as my awesome derm uh, residents all know very, very well. Okay, there we go. Sunburned lentigo. How about that? Who can talk for 10 minutes about lentigo and sunburn? This guy right here, all right?